Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
but the sun isn't very high uh, right now, so that uh, that's another factor with the ducks. You know, something that uh, the sun isn't out, you know, shining nice and bright for them. They're not uh, really keen on going. We're well, gonna try to get this group so we don't have a second group today. It'd be nice if I had my own dog, but he's like eating breakfast. Come on, ducks, let's go. You can come tonight and eat this. I'm making my life difficult here this morning. Come on, ducks. I know, hey, the grass is so tasty. Oh, there's Doug. <laughs> Doug, left. Oh, Doug's going to do a video bomb. We won't bother video on that one. But he ate a whole duck. I roasted the duck and he ate the whole thing. Come on, ducks, get out of here. You're not staying back here today. There's this one group that just likes to stay behind it. It's just bizarre. There is a lot of frogs in this area, so. Come, let's go and fly for us. You guys are uh, you're really screwing up the morning rush here. Yeah, this is the, the last group here that always hangs back. We're missing the massive rush down at the creek. Go on, ducks. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the front of the pack, look at that for a rush. They're not screwing around. They're going straight to the lake. And we've got these slow ones at the back here. That are more interested in the mud. I wonder if it's the exact same ducks every day that do this. You no, know, uh, because it seems about the same number of ducks. Come on, out of here. Oh, it's still be going. Look at these. Right to the lake. Yep, gone. I could just see it over the edge of the bulrushes. That was right on. Okay, there's two more behind me. So they could take off. That's so neat. Now we got these two here. So they could be uh, flyers. You know, and they got such big wings. But that one I watched it, you, I, I couldn't video it because it was just moving too quick, but it flew uh, right along the whole edge of the bulrushes. Come on, Ducky, let's go. Well, we missed the whole rush up the creek. These are these stragglers. Doug, back! Back! Come on! Doug, back! Well, Doug's nose is open. Look at these things. Uh, you know, oh, my ducks. You know, if Doug would have helped me right from the start, but he was too filly, too busy filling his belly. Come on, ducks, let's go. You can feel the heat coming already from the sun. It's supposed to be another 26 degree day today. Uh, a repeat of yesterday. And tomorrow's the same. Come on, duck. Look at this, Miss Colby. Come on, duck. Oh, oh. Okay, fly for us. Oh, there's another one taking off. 
No, it's a little fly. Oh, look at these ducks. One track line, mud. Oh, it's going to be just a fly. Oh, it's going to be all oh, just a little fly. It seems that there's only uh, uh, two that uh, fly right to the lake. So you guys get out of this grass. Let's go. Let's go to the lake. Oh, there's another one. There's another the lake. Yeah. No. Oh, no, it landed in the creek. Sorry, I'm not running the uh, zoom here, guys. Because one, I'm I'm uh, filming in Braille because I don't have my glasses on. I can't walk in and wear my glasses in the swamp at the same time. And my uh, zoom finger still hurts like a bugger from that nail going through it. Oh, look at these. They just... <laughs> oh, ducks and drilling. Okay, why are those ducks walking up the creek? Well, they're back in the water. That was Doug shaking the, the vegetation here. I'm saying I'm floating vegetation, so. Well, considering that I was standing in the middle of the flock there trying to get you a shot of that mascara duck, um, the morning rush actually went pretty good. And the fact that Doug didn't help me at all because he was at the deck eating his breakfast. But I'm, uh, I'm going to go down today a little different here on the filming. I'm going to go down uh, this morning and I'm going to go have my breakfast. And my plan is, and if everything goes right this morning, I'm going to go out there uh, in the morning. I Going on the afternoon, uh, the sun's on the wrong side of the, the lake, and it's just impossible uh, to film. Yesterday was brutal filming down there with the sun beating on me. Uh, I need the sun on my back. So the only way I'm going to get that is to go down basically you know, pretty well. Not right now, but uh, after my breakfast, I'm going to head down there. We'll get the canoe out and uh, go down there where the sun's uh, you know, coming from the east. And uh, we'll get uh, you know, some duck action on the lake. And hopefully then they won't follow me back because it seems every time I go down there in the afternoon and then I come home, the ducks come home. So, and I don't want them home this early uh, in the afternoon. Like yesterday, we had to chase them back three times. So, but they, you know, they finally came back at the right time, which is, you know, 5.30, 6 o'clock is when ideally I'd like them to come back to the yard. Any earlier, it's, you know, it's just, it's too hard on the yard. So, that's the morning rush. It went pretty good. I almost forgot about the eggs to see what uh, I've got here this morning. Well, there's one. One egg. And this one, nothing there. Nothing in that one, so I got one egg here. And then, let's see what's over here. Oh, look, oh, looks like we got two in this one. No, just one. Okay, so. I got two ducks laying eggs. They look like Muscovy eggs, actually. Well, anything in this corner? No. 
a nest, but nothing in it, so. So the nesting boxes the ducks are using, so I'm, at least I'm getting something for breakfast. Well, I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm, uh, I was doing uh, the chores in the pen and washing everything up. I, I like washing it first thing in the morning while it's all soft. And I heard just the quacking going on down here. The ducks were partying uh, like it's 1999. And uh, they're all over the lake. And of course, they're all over the dock. So, but uh, I don't know what it is about the mornings. They seem to go farther out on the lake. Where during the day, you know, they hang around the shoreline. It's, it's really weird. They're all over the lake, though. Hello, ducks! It's me! Oh, man, they're having fun. In the mornings, they're just so frisky in the morning. You feel like a dog when he gets wet, you know? Hello, everybody! And of course, the smoke is on the dog. What a beautiful morning. It is unbelievable. This is, uh, we didn't even have mornings like this this summer. We got ducks everywhere. Now, hopefully, Dougie doesn't uh, shake the crap out of the dog here this morning. Oh. There's some serious diving action going on, too. They must be fishing. Now, actually, there's one right there. She's fishing big time. Let me see if she goes under again for us. Yeah. There's a ton of. It must be the minnows. They're out on the lake, uh, you know, minnows. Okay, something just spooked them. They're all heading in. Oh, the glare of the sun. You know, in the mornings when they come down, it's so cool in the mornings. They're, uh, they're, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's like, well, after being penned up all night, you know, they, uh, you know, they're doing their 10 hours in the pen. It's, uh, you know, they're now that they're, you know, the morning rush is like almost automatic. You know, and they're coming down here, you know, so fast. Everybody's cleaning themselves up and, you know, giving themselves, making themselves all nice and pretty white. But I was in the pan uh, washing the tub out and filling their uh, their drinking uh, water up because I, I rinse it out every day. And uh, they were just going crazy quacking. And I thought, okay, I gotta come down here and check this out because it was just the noise this morning was crazy. But you can see the court in action, they're starting to court each other. The bobbin heads. So that means, uh, you know, they're, they're mature. It they you know, only means one thing, it's call time. Real soon. Doug wants to get this way. I hope it's not windy today because yesterday with the wind it was just a pain in the boat. Uh, one, you know, the ducks don't like the aluminum boat and, and the canoe is impossible in the wind uh, and trying to film at the same time. I just don't understand why in the mornings they're out so far and in the uh, during the day, you know, they hang around the shore. Is you know they don't go out that far, you know, uh, during the day. You know, the odd time, you know, they'll go out in a group, but then they come right back. So. Doesn't make any sense unless it's just minnows right now. They're definitely diving. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I'm gonna go have my breakfast. I got a big edit to do. I didn't realize it that uh, I've got about an hour and a half of editing to do here, so it's gonna screw my morning up a little bit. Just want to show you here, Dougie's sunning himself, and Muscovy sunning himself. <laughs> it's so fun. Muscovy was sleeping here beside Dougie. It's really bizarre how the ducks hang around with Doug. He's the duck protector. Doug's moving closer to the duck. <laughs> it's so funny. I just watched him. He got up and he sniffed the duck and then he came over and laid down here. Pretty soon they're going to be cuddling each other. All right, Doug and I are down here and the ducks are all over the lake today. They're also all over my dock. I just washed the dock off yesterday. Oh, they like covering it in poop. But I can't believe it. They're all over the lake today. They're actually in the whole bay today. They're not hanging around shore like yesterday. I'm gonna try to take the canoe out here. I think the wind's a lot less today, so. And I brought the pivot heads. Just in case I, I've got to do, oh, there's three wild ducks over there. Three little heads. Yes, ducks, I'm coming. As soon as I show up, they start talking to me. Oh, look at all the ducks. Actually, I'm gonna get the big camera and give you a shot here with the big camera. All right. We got ducks all over the lake. They're everywhere. I'm actually shocked how uh, scattered they are today. But there's uh, over there, I'll try to give you a shot here. This is, there's the three uh, wild ducks, actually four wild ducks. So the wild ducks are coming in to play with my ducks. There's a whole lot, I'm going to get the canoe out. The wind is next to no wind, so it might actually be good canoeing here today. All right, I'm gonna get the canoe out, and uh, Doug and I are going out of the lake. I'm gonna take Doug in with the canoe with me. And hopefully today he doesn't get uh, ants in his pants. And, and we got some, man, the ducks are really starting to mate. Well, courting action. We got lots of courting action. Yeah, I haven't seen much mating going on yet. So, all right. This, uh, oh, the minnows are crazy around this dock. That's why the ducks are hanging around here, is the minnows. What a beautiful day. All right, let's get the, the, the canoe out. What is so much easier paddling with the pivot heads. All right, we're going to uh, turn the boat around here, or the canoe, I should say. I can't believe how they're scattered everywhere today. They're really uh, doing some serious swimming. They're absolutely everywhere in the this end of the lake. You know, I'm wondering, you know, how long, you know, if you could get the ducks out here earlier, you know, which is, you know, possible when they're immature, but, yeah, you know, if they'd ever use the whole lake. Oh, Doug's being good. He's going to lay down today. Well, we're certainly getting a lot of swimming action today. They're all over the lake. And of course, the wind just picked up and it's starting to push the canoe.
Doug shaking the canoe here. Dougie, stop it. Push me right into the bay. All right, I got a paddle. Doug, you're being good today. Except for the chewing there, you got an itchy spot. All right, let's uh, turn this canoe around and get farther out, and hopefully drift back. Uh, Doug, stop chewing like that. You can really smell the water they've turned up. They uh, they must be doing lots of rooting uh, in the vegetation because it's all you can smell is uh, rotting vegetation being churned up. I can't believe uh, this action here today. I looked out from the house and I could see ducks uh, out in the water and I I didn't think they were out this far. They're diving. Actually, uh, yeah, they're diving, uh, getting minnows. Holy mackerel, they ever got the water churned up. It's just mud. You can't even, and usually you can see the bottom of the lake. So it's not a very deep lake, but it's, you know, it's just the right depth for them to uh, be diving down and rooting around. So I'm going to get the boat a little farther out here so the wind can push us through the flock. My poor finger. I keep hitting it on absolutely everything. I've hit it like three times already on the canoe. Doug's being good today. Well, we'll see for how long. should take us in right to the bay and Here. 
Yo, this is nicer weather than we've had all summer. I'm gonna get a shot here. Okay, there. Oh, there's Goosley. They're, uh, the destruction out here is crazy. Right where I am right now in the canoe, there used to be a giant weed patch because I used to come out here with an electric boat and now I'm looking and all the weeds, well, I don't know if you can see that. Right there, but the, the weeds are all ripped up. That and Scobie just flew across from this side. Duck's hot. It's beautiful out. It's unbelievably nice out. The amount of weeds the ducks have ripped up, it's crazy. It's right here where I am, the water's maybe three, four feet deep right where I am, so it's just the right depth for them to dive down and uh, you know do lots of destruction. Look, he can't make his mind up. One minute, oh, he just he did a big sigh there. Something's above us. You know, I said yesterday I wasn't going to put him in the boat, but the ducks are so scattered that if I let him out right now, uh, if I wouldn't have put him in the boat with me, he would have swam out here and would have herded the ducks and we would have had a, a panic on. spend so much time cleaning themselves. You know, they're always grooming. Well, they're in between eating. And pretty soon it'll be sexathon here. So much more uh, relaxed around the canoe. I don't know if it's because uh, I'm closer to the, the surface of the water, uh, you know, that the, the aluminum boat I'm higher up. I don't know if that's it. Because the aluminum boat is, you know, it's sitting on the dock there. They're, they know what it looks like. It's not like it's a strange item. Alright, I gotta paddle back down the other end again and let the wind carry me back down here. But I keep saying it's a beautiful day because I haven't had any beautiful days all summer. And anybody that's watched my uh, my show knows that this summer has been a summer from hell. Lots of action going on here, though. Ooh, Dougie's getting hot. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. Uh, Turn the boat around here, or the canoe around, and we'll head back up the lake and uh, start shooting again from the other end. Oh, Dougie. It's warm, isn't it, Doug? Stay there.
I remember the very first time I took Doug in the boat and he drove me nuts. I thought I was going to have to strangle him. He's come a long way. He's come a long way actually in a lot of things. All right. Yeah, they're uh, right where the uh, that big weed patch used to be. Well, used to be is a key word because now it's gone. Uh, the ducks have just destroyed it. And every duck I'm looking at here, I don't know if you can see in the video, they all got little weeds hanging out of their mouths. Well, look at that one. It's got a big weed. That's what they're doing. They're dredging the lake. Like if you look here, look at the amount of, look at the weeds here. Oh, I missed it. They're, 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 they're tearing them all up. You know? I wonder what these guys are gonna taste like this year. I don't remember last year's ducks, uh, you know, I had, actually, I, I, I'm positive the last year's ducks didn't go out uh, into the lake. They just stuck around the shore. Unless because of last year's ducks, uh, you know, they, they seriously screwed up the weed growth uh, by the mouth of the creek. And, and now these ducks are just moving out farther out. You know, it's too bad all our food couldn't be raised this happy. We'd be living in a much better world. Oh, Goose Lee's upset because two ducks are mating. Is he ever up mad? Let me see if I can get the camera for you. Uh, just stop. Goose Lee was really upset. Those two Pekings were on top of each other and Goose Lee was just losing his. So maybe he's got a problem with ducks mating like Doug. There's no wind over here. All right, I'm gonna uh, turn the canoe around here. Up, please. We're making uh, a lot of movement here. All right, guys. I'm now. There's absolutely no wind. But there is a wicked reflection of the sun off the uh, the water right now. Doug's, you're really screwing up the camera work here. Doug's starting to get ants in his pants. The weeds aren't touched out here where I am right now. I'm just looking in the water and they're uh, not destroyed. So I think what's happening here is the clock is moving around the lake. Oh, Doug. And now Doug's flipping over to the other side. So I think what's happening is the flock is moving around the lake and uh, wherever they're finding the weeds that they like, that's where they're hanging out and that's why they're in the middle of the lake right now. So 
So probably over the next month, we're going to see the ducks traveling around the lake looking for weeds. <laughs> this is so cool. I can't believe I did this, you know, I hatched all these ducks and you know, all the work just to get them out here. This is like crazy stuff. Well, my friends all think I'm crazy. We all think this is just absolutely the most lunatic thing to do. I just think it's really cool. You know, to uh, know absolutely nothing about hatching anything to uh, pull this off. Because honestly, all you know, my experience in hatching stuff last year was a complete flop. And this year was, you know, 56% success rate. And a crap load of bad luck. Okay, Doug, oh! <laughs> no, don't do that, Doug. All right, Doug just, uh, Dougie. He just rolled over. You're gonna wipe me out, Doug. Aren't you? All right. Oh, he's such a cute dog. Doug's actually been sleeping in the garage on the cement floor. It's so warm today. All right, I'm gonna try to turn around here. I'm trying to, uh, sorry about the in zoom in and out, guys, but I'm a one-man show here, navigator, paddler, a cameraman, and dog handler, all in one. This is what you call multitasking. Oh, Doug's flipping over to the other side now. See, the problem is, if I let, if I didn't bring Doug in the boat with me, what he would do is he would just get the ducks all riled up and he'd be swimming all among them and, and you know, that would just get them worked into a frenzy. Which I've got a gut feeling because it is about one o'clock right now. These guys might come back to the yard, so I gotta keep an eye out. Because it seems every time I come down here, they uh, come back to the yard. Uh, no wind and I'm stuck in the wrong place all right I'm gonna paddle here I was just about to paddle away and uh, the goose is coming over to see us so let's just see how close uh, they come we've had this before where the geese come right up to us so it seems uh, in the water they're a little more curious than they are on land on land they just stay away from me They're the gorgeous looking birds. And a lot of the time when they're swimming, believe it or not, they uh, don't even use uh, both legs. It's a one leg swim. I'm trying to get you a shot here. The bird's going behind me, of course. All right. Hang on, no, that's no good. Actually, I'm just looking here. We got ducks sleeping on the water. 
Here, I'll try to zoom in for you. Oh, they just woke up. They were sleeping. Okay, the wind's blowing in the wrong direction. I gotta paddle. Okay, I don't know what just happened here. Uh, Doug and I went farther out in the lake and uh, something uh, spooked the ducks and now they're all up back at the shore. Nobody's out here in the open anymore. I don't know what, uh, I didn't see anything fly in. Uh, you know, and I stayed away from them so there was no reason for them to uh, you know, be panicking. But for some reason something uh, just caused them to uh, panic and everybody has gone back to the shoreline. It's really strange. Nobody is out here on the water with us. Everybody's gone. They left us. It was really weird. And you can see something panicked them because they were, uh, they, it was like the old horde mentality. You know, one starts going and look out. They all just started freaking. Oh, they're fishing over by the dock here. I'll just give you a shot. I told you, like, that around the dock there's a ton of minnows. Yeah, you know, I wonder how many minnows they're actually they're catching. You know, there are a ton. Like, I'm looking right down the water here, and it's crazy. The water is just full of fish. Little, little tiny ones, you know. But there's a ton. Like, this lake is is not a dead lake. It's it's got a lot of uh, life in it. It doesn't have any big fish, but it's got lots of little ones. The ducks aren't, uh, well, we'll just wait a second here and we'll see if they come back out. Hello, ducks! Hello! That's my duck call for this year is hello! There they're calling me. They were all quiet and I thought I'll see if I can rile the troops up. All right, they're coming back out to the water. Hello! Here, I'll switch cameras here and we'll get some better sound. Hello, ducks! I don't know, uh, you know if any of my viewers here are listening to this on a, on a surround sound or a bigger computer system uh, sound wise but I know when I listen to it uh, on mine and I, you know, I play through my big stereo uh, the sound out here when the ducks are quacking is awesome the morning's better when the highway's you know quiet Oh, they're coming right up to me here. Stop it! Oh, they're swimming around me here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dalmatian duck. Well, one of the Dalmatian ducks. A lot more, uh, a lot of more, a lot more uh, male uh, ruins starting to appear. Green heads everywhere. Yeah, where was this weather this summer? All right, I gotta turn the camera around here. Well, the ducks are going back out. Sleeping on the water. Oh, it's the safest place for them. Alright, I gotta turn the canoe around again here. Let's turn the canoe around here. And uh, see if we can get a better view.
Doug's uh, doing the lean to one side here just to make my life a little more interesting. <laughs> oh, poor dog. Things I make him do with me. I think they're doing a lot of fishing right here. Oh, the wind's catching me. Alright, the wind just spun me right around. Alright, we'll go over to this side then. Yeah, you gotta wonder how much they're eating down here during the day. Well, I wonder. I, I, you know, I, I wonder like how much of their diet. Because I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm only giving them three bags, so 240 pounds of feed every night. I've cut back uh, just to force them to be down here, to feed down here, or to eat more down here, I should say. So they've got 240 pounds of grain at night. And then, uh, you know, the whole day down here. Of eating what Mother Nature gives them. Some of them are really good at diving, and some are not. The wind is screwing me up here. Oh, actually, there's two Dalmatian ducks side by side. Actually, one of the Dalmatian ducks has got a green head. All right, where'd he go? I just had him there. He's got a green tinge to his head. I wonder if he's a male. All right, the wind is blowing me, and it's uh, freaking the ducks out here. So I gotta go back out in the lake. Dog. <laughs> oh, what a dog. He doesn't know what position to lay in. It's so peaceful. I've actually done quite a lot of sitting down here recording nothing. I'm not sharing it with you guys, just uh, relaxing. That's why Doug's getting so uh, antsy here. It's because uh, we're down here much longer than I'm videotaping. Even though I should be back at the yard because I got, I got to tear the straw pile apart and I got to dig Doug's doghouse out to uh, fix the tires on it. But the nice weather was calling my name and telling me to come down here. An afternoon with the ducks. All right, I've got his back out here in position. It's not going to last long. The wind's picking up again. And that's the wind blowing us around that fast. It's actually giving us a pretty good uh, pan of the uh, area here, the little wind. 
Oh, it just stopped. sleeping on one leg on the edge of the dock here. I'm gonna go and uh, I gotta go tear that straw pile apart and get Doug's uh, doghouse out while it's nice and uh, dry out. And what a beautiful day! I don't know. I don't want to work actually, but I have to. I could so easy just do nothing and just stay down here for the day. I know, ducks. I gotta leave you. All right, let's go to the dock. You know, you don't realize how time flies. I, I just wasted like, um, it's almost two hours I've been down here. Um, just enjoying the duckies. So tomorrow is supposed to be a repeat of today. So I'll be down here again. But I do have to get a little bit of work done while it's nice out because it's so much easier getting jobs done, uh, you know, when you're not, uh, you know, getting rained on, which we've had lots of this year. But, now the ducks are all staying away from me here because I came to the dock. So I got to keep an eye out when I go back to the house uh, because, you know, they do have a tendency to come back to the house after I come down here. So, oh, and there comes Dougie. He's, he's, uh, he's hell-bent on knocking me into the water.
Oh, all the ducks have left us. Hello, ducks! Hello! Don't even think of coming back. I'll chase you right back up the creek. All right. Doug and I are going to, well, I'm going to go do some work. And, uh, and hopefully I don't have to uh, chase the ducks back because it's early enough. They shouldn't even think of coming back yet. So we'll see. Well, I got the straw pile all torn apart here and I found something that I didn't count on. Um, I found my chicken eggs. Uh, there they are. So my chickens are under here laying, but I found our missing Muscovy. There she is dead with her head ripped off. So that morning that Doug was really, really excited um, and that he was going around sniffing the, uh, the, the straw pile like a maniac, I got a hunch the predator was underneath. So I'm just gonna drag it out and uh, take a look here and <laughs> try to determine how long it's been dead. Doesn't look very long though. Um, not a lot of fly action. Doesn't look like any maggots either. So I think I have some gloves on and I'll pull it out. Yes, it's our missing Muscovy. Um, there's the, the cut wings. You can see the cut wings. So um, I'm wondering if uh, you know she went under there at night and didn't come out and got killed. But uh, that's all they ate was just her head. Nothing else, and she's not even rotted. Uh, there's no uh, maggot action, nothing. So that, I'm trying to think how many more mornings ago that was that Doug uh, lost it and was going crazy around the uh, straw pile. I'm trying to remember. So, not very many days ago. So we definitely had somebody come in here at night. It could have been the skunk because you know when they they were tearing up the lawn there? Uh, well, no, that's, that's been longer than a week though. Um, but it's definitely a Muscovy. It's her feet. I can tell by the feet and her wings, the clipped wings. They were the only ducks that I clipped. So we, that's what the missing Muscovy is. So all this time, you know, we were wondering where she was. She was dead under the straw pile. So I didn't count on that. But, you know, the eggs here. There are not a lot of eggs, actually, considering, you know, like, if you take a look, that's not many eggs. Well, not many at all, so they must have another spot they're laying eggs. Uh, I wouldn't uh, trust those eggs, though. Well, I'm going to repile this and uh, get the tarp reset up here. And I'm, uh, I just, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm trying to think maybe um, a way of either raising this up higher so that, um, it's easier to go under or block it off. I haven't, I'm gonna have to figure it out here, see what I got here on the property for uh, material that I can do this. Or if I'm gonna just leave it the way it is and... Unbelievable. Well, Doug Adventure, curveballs. Okay, everybody, I've given up. Uh, Doug and I have uh, chased the ducks back five times and it turns out there's a bunch of wild geese on the lake and the ducks just won't stay on the lake. Five times, and, and the last two times I've actually taken the kayak out and forced them to go back out. But the wild geese are out there and, and more keep landing, so the ducks just don't want to stay. So I scrambled and got up here in the tree. So we've got the ducks coming home and it'll be a long train coming home here because like I said, uh, five times and they're not, they're not all grouped up. They're in a little bit of a holding pattern up at the creek. I'll just zoom in for you so you can see. Oh, there's a Muscovy flying. Oh, sorry about that guys, I got the sun right against the screen, I can't see. It's just at the perfect height, or angle I mean. We tried to keep them at the lake as long as possible. And it just didn't work out. Actually, if I would have filmed the first time they came home, it was a massive horde.
It, it, it actually would have been good filming, but I just didn't want them home yet. Yeah, it's going to be a long train coming home tonight. They were defiant. They, uh, they kept coming back and Doug and I kept chasing them back out. And, and then actually it was the second last time I went out on the kayak, that's when I saw the, the geese on the lake. There's another, I can see a big bunch coming uh, through the bulrushes from the creek, so I think they're realizing that they can come home and I'm not chasing them back. They've beaten me. There's Bruce Lee. And they were really upset that I kept pushing them back out to the lake. Uh, talking some serious upset quacking. Should be some more. Uh, that can't be all of them. Let me just take a look behind us here. No, there's got to be some more out in the lake. They'll have them come back. There's got to be some more out there. So that's uh. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a, a dribble. Tonight's home uh, rush home is a dribble. But now that I know what's going on here uh, out of the lake, I'm um, the next the next time they come home, I'm gonna take them out. And I'm gonna take an aerial grenade out to uh, spook the geese away because the geese. Uh, I went on one in the kayak. The candy geese were coming back down towards the creek and that was just freaking the ducks right out. They were in a massive clump trying to come up the creek with me in the creek with the kayak and Doug and uh, Doug was swimming in the creek and you know we were trying to block them off and uh, there was it was only six candy geese but it was enough to just you know blow the minds of the ducks so. Alright well that's the rush home not much or not uh, you know not much actually it was pretty pathetic. Well, there was a second wave of ducks that came in. It was about 20 minutes later, they showed up. So, but I missed it because I was working. Um, well, the ducks are home. Well, I'm gonna uh, have something to eat here because I'm absolutely starved. I can't believe I got so much done today uh, considering I, I spent two hours on the water with the ducks in the sun. What a gorgeous day. And tomorrow is another gorgeous day.